Hi, everybody. This is Vladimir Akuna, and we have a beautiful Maria Stoyer here who's helping with the parenting questions. And we're back this weekend with another question to help parents to, to learn and grow and expand the awareness. Hi, Maria. Are you well? Hi, Vladimir. Yes, I'm well. I hope you too. Yes, good. Thank you. Um, today's question is on um, attitude. How? What can we do or what would you... What would be the best tip you could give us on changing our attitude that would really benefit in raising our children? Yeah, the, the first thing is the awareness. When you are aware about your attitude and maybe you have an attitude you don't like or what is not really helpful, uh, then when you have the awareness, you cannot continue with this attitude. And uh, yeah, the attitude... Uh, I, I go from, from the other end of, of uh, this position. I would say um, the behavior of your child uh, is uh, uh, the point where you need to get more awareness about your attitude because uh, the behavior shows you when your attitude is helpless as, or is not helpful. And then um, you want to change the behavior and then you try and read all these uh, books about how to change your child and but it has to do with your own childhood experiences and everybody who listened to us or to me knows uh, the childhood <laughs> is uh, the key for everything and uh, then you need to have a look at your childhood and uh, with this behavior you are reacting in a in a not helpful way uh, what happened uh, to you when you act like uh, like your child, maybe mm -hmm. it's the same, or how the attitude from your parents to you has been. So then uh, you can uh, get more awareness and, and the awareness stops uh, repeating. This is uh, such easy as, it, as, it, uh, as it's spoken. I do love how you put that because that's how we always go from the results. Like if we want to change the current anything, we look at the current results. And sometimes when mom says, well, how do I know? Well, that is exactly how we know. And I love you pointed it out. You actually know by looking at the results, like is the behavior challenging? Well, there is, there is an indicator that there is something that needs to be changed. And it, attitude is such an important thing. I, I do, what would, you, what would your top tip be to, for people to actually think about how they can expand awareness? Obviously, apart from getting into your program, which is brilliant. And I, I, think, I think they need to uh, get more awareness about their assumptions, mm -hmm. what they expect and why they expect it. You know, there are some, some parents who uh, expect those things from their children they haven't achieved. And there are there are those uh, who want... Uh, uh, their children be in, in, in a special way because then the environment thinks, oh, these must be good parents because their child is that way. So they only need the, the, the smart child for their own uh, self-image. Mm -hmm. And uh, all those stuff is uh, uh, involved in this attitude and, and this, uh, yeah, <laughs> subconscious... Uh, problems or struggles or I, I don't know uh, the right word but yeah. uh, you need to get uh, order in your assumptions and order in uh, um, the source of your attitude. I love what you just said because so many so many people would have such a high expectations of their children because they probably feel self-worthness on a lower level because they didn't achieve it before. And then this pressures the child as well. And the child feels they're not really giving chance to do what they love. How can parents support the child better? I mean, I, I, and I love what you pointed about society. It's just the expectations of society versus what you would love to have for your children and a family and make them happy. Um, yeah, and, and what you want for your children is so that they find out their own way and their own goals and not only fulfilling your goals and your assumptions and your experience uh, uh, expectations you know this this is uh really important to differentiate between those things and uh yeah 
Um, do you think it's easy just to ask the child what they want? Because what I do get from, from most of the parents, I do hear that. And I used to actually believe that partly as well a while ago before I understood certain things is, you know, when they say, oh, but my child is too young to decide what they want. They don't know what they want. What would you say to these parents? Because I hear that a lot, actually. I, I think that the children are really early uh, intuitively, they, they know what their parents uh, expect from them. And without talking, without asking, they know it. And uh, I do not think that these questions are helpful to ask, uh, what do you want? Maybe if you want an ice cream or a hot chocolate, this is okay to ask the children. But uh, the other things are influenced already from uh, your own yeah, from your own stuff. It's okay. it's done. It's done at that age when they could answer questions. So it's more like understanding and reprogramming what's already it, in there. You only can change a child if you if you change yourself. It's not possible to change or to to uh, yeah to get a different child without changing yourself and get more awareness. It doesn't work because okay. the children. In our society, the children from the first day, they get conditional love. They only get love for what uh, we love them. And if they have behavior we don't love, we do not give love for this. We, we, we yeah, we uh, manipulate yes. yeah, them from the one. first day. So, you know, when two women are, are, are mothers outside the street and what is one of the first questions uh, how many hours does your baby sleep? Yes. This is a really important thing. A, a smart, a good baby has to sleep minimum seven hours. And, and then it's a good baby. And the baby only one hour crying in uh, the time between, this is not a good baby. So you think I'm a bad mother because my baby isn't sleeping seven hours. So there it starts. Yeah, I love that. That is the best example, actually. That is so true. And then they, the judgment kicks in and people are not worrying about the real stuff. So this is labeling the children is the worst thing we can do. That's true. I agree. Oh, thank you so much, Maria. I've taken a longer question, but it was brilliant. I actually love how you answered it as okay. a professional. So if anyone would have any more questions, Maria runs Q&As once a month and has deep programs starting soon on the reprogramming and learning. But thank you so much, Maria. It was beautiful to see you again, as always. I appreciate the talk to you and uh, Vladi. Bye, have a great day. And you, thank you, bye.